I was paid a compliment today. I was called both courageous and insane. <laughs> and uh, I thought it kind of comical. And I didn't give it much thought. I was laying in bed. And, and there's something just in my mind on a subconscious level that, 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 that was like a, a thorn just pricking, irritating me. And then it occurred to me. I, I have that video about the uh, why I should own a rocket launcher. And I make an argument for owning my rocket launcher. And um, I don't own a rocket launcher, but why I should own a rocket launcher. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, I mentioned, you know, cases like Bad Elk versus the U.S. where it says it's okay for me to kill cops if they're acting to, to falsely arrest me. And, uh, you know, Bad Elk was a unique case because um, the officers came to arrest another police officer, namely John Bad Elk. Uh, and they had no warrant. They were acting upon the orders of the police chief to bring him in with no warrant. And the, there's this checks and balances thing. Uh, it's not really a check and balance. It's just a minor formality of red tape uh, where the officer goes in and says, I swear someone committed a crime and the magistrate or whoever rubber stamps it and they get the warrant. Um, you know, probable cause basically has been re you know, degraded to the extent of just showing up and saying, I have probable cause. What's your probable cause? Probable cause. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it occurred to me and I'm trying to make light of the situation, by the way. Uh, what was so wrong about it? That I should not... I've been called insane for a lot of things, so I don't really care. Uh, I actually kind of take pride in being called crazy at times. Um, but that I was called courageous for speaking the truth. What we all know and fear... I said what everyone else was feeling, and, and, and I was called courageous for, for it. You should not have to be courageous to say what is true. Whether you are talking about how you truly feel, or, or what you truly think, to, to, to express opinions and ideas should not take courage. It should take only the willingness to open your mouth. Everyone else can choose whether or not they want to listen to you, and it doesn't really matter. I, I don't really think anyone really listens to me. Uh, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. I got like 70-some subscribers. Uh, but, you know, I don't really think speaking the truth is a matter of being courageous. Um, it, to me, it's, you know, um, one of those responsibilities shirked upon me for being an American. Uh, just like my responsibility to, you know, um, to, oh yeah, my responsibility to speak the truth. That's what my whole First Amendment is about. Uh, my right to, to my, my responsibility to freely express my religion uh, against what I feel is um, government injustice uh, or, or misconstruction and abuse of government power, if we want to go back to the preamble of the Bill of Rights. Uh, you know, my, my, my right to freedom of the press to put things in uh, uh, the paper and to have things published. Um, my right to petition the government for redress of grievances dealing with things that I feel is wrong or unconstitutional. Uh, so there shouldn't be a need for me to be um, courageous to have to say these things. The fact that, you know, a person who is talking about um, being... Uh, calm in, in their statements towards uh, uh, the whole gun control debate is at the same time, you know, saying that I'm courageous for pointing out that I have a right to use force to defend my life uh, by the Constitution and that these people trying to take away that right are essentially endangering my life and putting my life at risk and you know, I, I consider that an affront upon my person, upon my personal safety, upon my life. Uh, if we've already reached a point in this nation where we are afraid to speak the truth, then we had, might as well cut out our tongues. You know, um, not to uh, sound like a... Uh, a macho asshole, 
but um, I think I need to sound like a macho asshole. The fact of the matter is, I'm 32 years old. I turned 33 in approximately five months and some change. Uh, I am a grown ass man. My balls have dropped a long time ago. And if it takes courage for me to speak the truth, to say what I truly think or truly feel, then uh, I, I, I need to cut them puppies off and turn them into earrings or something. Because <laughs> the reality is, you know, this is America. We have the freedom of speech, the, 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 the right to uh, uh, peacefully assemble. We have the right to protest. We have, when you get down to it, we have a right to kill the people trying to enforce unlawful and illegal orders. You know, that, that was my, I'm not even going to get into that debate. I already made another video talking about why I put up the rocket launcher video the, the way I said it. Um, but I just want to, uh, I just want to run a thought by all of you. For everyone who, who, who will ever see this video. Let me ask you one thing. If it takes courage to say what is true, then... What does that make us for saying nothing? For doing nothing? You know what? Fuck it. I, I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm probably on some government hit list already, so hey. <laughs> Hell, let, let, let's play that game. The reality of the matter is, I have a duty to defend my life. To defend my property. I care less about property. I care less about stuff. I'm more concerned with my life and my freedom and, and the world that I leave my children. I'm an idealist. I love ideas. See, people are flawed. But ideas, ideas are perfect. Ideas exist in a perfect world where the flaws of the person who is, uh, who, who has the ideas. Um, the, the flaws of the others around him who have to deal with those ideas, who, who change and modify those ideas, uh, doesn't exist. You know, um, the, the idea of not having to need an armed populace because everyone can be adults and not commit um, crimes against each other, it, it's a great idea. The reality of the matter is the world isn't, you know, all anything. Uh, the, the world isn't that type of happy, fluffy place. And uh, believing it is can get you killed. I'm not talking about in like some war zone over in Iraq or Afghanistan. I'm talking about in the fucking Kroger's parking lot. Coming out of a bar. Your front yard. Your bedroom. You know, that, that, that underestimating of what certain uh, depraved and, and criminally minded people will do. If. See, I don't think what I. I don't think me saying that. I don't think me venturing forth that argument or even saying that, you know, I would. Um, you know. That there was a legal ground for me to kill cops in self-defense was such a courageous thing. Foolish, maybe. Um, maybe it kind of shocked some people who were all anti-gun and like kind of freaked them out because now they have to come back and start making legal arguments to try to counter what I just threw up there for my rocket launcher. Uh, but you know, when it comes down to it, rocket launcher is just another. It's just really a code word for assault rifle. But since most of the uh, uh, gun grabbers want to uh, <laughs> want to say, well, 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 maybe you should just own a rocket launcher too. I decided let's just make the argument. Let me own a rocket launcher. Hell, I, I want a SAM sight, an artillery cannon, an AT4, uh, an up armored Humvee, and uh, nah, a neighbor would have. Yeah, that's. Uh, I can't afford to pay the gas for one of those. But uh, yeah, well. It'd make hunting deer very interesting. <laughs> yeah. and if you notice, I, I try to insert comedy a lot to uh, keep from getting too uh, uh, caught up on the, the, the depressing reality of life. 
okay, you know. Um, but here's the question I want to ask everyone. If it takes courage to speak the truth, then aren't we all just living a lie?